Hi, Paul here. Normally on these videos, I'm a little bit whimsical and should we say a little bit uh, loose on some of it, but uh, this is a pretty serious thing. We have designed over the last couple of years a new portable electric vehicle charger. Now, companies know we've sold 40 to 50,000 out of a normal portable charger in New Zealand, uh, but we thought in the last year or two we'd like to contribute more to the New Zealand economy and we've designed a new portable 10 amp charger here in the Garden City for use all around New Zealand and Australia. Now, you might think, oh, well, it's just a bit of portable charging gear, but honestly, someone can actually build the best one in the world. We're not supposed to say, according to it's the best one in the world, but we'd like someone to argue and say that it that, that isn't. So we've designed it here in Christchurch with a really good bunch of engineering team. We've made it 10 amp. We've designed it this way, and yes, before we get copied, and we know someone's going to, we've designed it this way so it mounts on your wall. It's gonna come with a nice, nice little bracket so it floats on your wall. It's got an inlet cord, and it's got an outlet cord. So you won't leave the thing on the ground, it won't fill up with water, but we have also changed the way it's designed inside to double honeycomb, so water is just about impossible for it to get into, but it's still designed to sit up nicely on your wall and look elegant. So it's got a one meter inlet cord. Now, we've also changed that cord to have a temperature sensor that pins. Now, if you're ever buying one of these portable chargers, and for some reason, you've got some sickness or malaise and you don't buy one from us, for goodness sakes, make sure that it has got an approved temperature sensor of the pins, because these things can run, run for 12 to 14 hours, and you're running it at full temperature. If you don't have a temperature sensor, oh, I think you're an idiot. So, you've been told, and whether you listen or not, most people don't, it doesn't matter. Uh, also, we've put on this, we've got a nice new display, and that you can switch it between six, eight, and 10 amps. You can delay the start for up to 12 hours, and you can set a charging timer for how long you want to charge for up to 12 hours. So if you come home at six and you've got free power at nine because you're, you know, you're an EV owner and you're, uh, I was about to say frugal, are we? Economy minded. And you can then set it, say, set the start in three hours time so it'll kick in and start in three hours time. We've also put in six milliamp DC detection, which is uh, an alternative to uh, an RCD type B. So if, for example, the car's onboard charger fails, which is highly unlikely, cars it could send some DC current back to the switchboard. Now your switchboard in your house is set up on AC current and your, your switchboard normally gets blinded by DC because it's not expecting it. So if it was, if your car's onboard charger was to fail and send some DC, this device will stop and detect it within 0.3 of a second. So it'll have no harm come to you. And it's got a little display which will tell you the faults. So we've made it really, really strong. So like I said, it's got a one meter length inlet cord. It's got seven meters cable coming out. We've even done a little bit more research on the plugs. This one is a Type 2. They're all serial numbered and, and tested. We've just improved the plug slightly, and I know it's a very minor thing, and most people won't notice it, but we've put a nicer, slightly thicker cover on, and we've, the plug is just a really nice, well-balanced, good product. We have them in the Type 1 coming as well, but it's a little bit later on down the track. And we think that this, you know, it's all designed in Christchurch. The components are top class, has a minimum three car warranty. And for the new cars that'll come with, it'll, it'll max the equivalent of the factory warranty. It is a beautifully designed piece of equipment. I know I'm probably a bit excited about it. You may not be, but I am. So uh, I'm Paul, and this is my new charger.